So the Americans have announced the official name for the new intercontinental ballistic missile developed under the ground-based strategic deterrent program. The current ICBM, that is LGM-30G Minuteman III successor, will bear the name LGM-35A Sentinel. The development and deployment of the new Sentinel ICBMs ensure the continuity of U.S. nuclear strategic deterrence. According to the U.S. Air Force, the development and introduction of new missiles is a cheaper solution than the modernization of 50-year-old missiles Minuteman III. Now, Minuteman III has an estimated range of 14,000 km and a flight altitude of up to 1,000 km above the Earth's surface. Minuteman III will deliver either a separate guided nuclear warhead, that is W-78, or a warhead W-87 to the target. Under the Strategic Arms Reduction Agreement, each U.S. ICBM carries one warhead, but that can be increased to three warheads if necessary. Earlier, the U.S. considered cannibalizing half of the Minuteman III missiles and maintaining the remaining 200 until 2050. However, given the growing nuclear ambitions of Russia and China, Washington has decided to keep the ground part of the nuclear triad in full. Now, a key feature of the Sentinel is the use of mature technologies. The Air Force intends to use already developed and tested solutions, technologies and components. In layman's terms, the Air Force will not develop. For example, a miracle, new rocket engine or exotic construction materials for the Sentinel. Another element is modularity, which in the future allows easy modernization and the replacement of components from manufacturers which, for example, may no longer exist in 20 or 30 years. After all, for this reason, it is so difficult to operate 50-year-old Minuteman III missiles and therefore considered for cannibalization. The new ICBM will carry an unknown number of independently guided W87-1 nuclear warheads with a force of 475 kilotons. The missile will be launched not only from underground facilities but also mobile launch systems in the future. As per current plans, the Sentinel will reach initial operational capabilities in 2029 and remain in service after 2070. This will gradually replace the Minuteman III missiles. The United States military is now working to rebuild its entire strategic nuclear triad ambitiously. It has imagined the future of the ground part of the triad. In the coming decades, the air part will rely on B-21 radar bombers and the new nuclear missiles with a flat flight path AGM-181 long-range standoff weapon. On the other hand, the naval part of the triad will consist of 12 new Columbia-class nuclear submarines, each carrying 16 UGM-133A Trident II submarine-launched ballistic missiles. While these can hold up to 8 W-88 warheads, 14 W-76-1 and 76 2 in practice, each missile carries an average of 4 warheads due to the limitations of the new START agreement. Overall, the modernization of the United States nuclear triad is expected to cost around $1.2 trillion by 2050, but it is only an estimate. In addition, Washington is modernizing carriers and warheads and large ground infrastructure and introducing new warning sensors that is space-based infrared system. It also envisages the construction of state-of-the-art command and control systems for the United States defense against a nuclear strike.